This is Wendy Stone with StreetPainting.tv, and we are at the Sarasota Chalk Festival 2010 in Sarasota, Florida. I'm speaking with uh, two artists. Um, can you tell me your name and where you're from? Hi, I'm Anthony Capetto, and I'm from New York City. I'm Sean McCann. I'm from Minneapolis. Hi, Anthony and Sean. Nice to see you guys here. Uh, can you tell me about the, the piece that you're working on um, for the festival? It's a very bright piece, and I have it on the camera behind you guys. Um, it's a piece called Skullduggery. It's a 3D uh, piece that shows depth in an anamorphic style, and it's very colorful, bright, and we're really excited about doing it. And uh, Sean, what do you like about this particular street painting? I love the energy that's that's in it uh, with the the bright colors and the depth of you know the souls and the fire that's below, and and it's 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 a lot of fun with the uh, 3D element going into it. So it's it's been uh, been gorgeous the last four days, and Excited to get this piece done. Does this piece have anything to do with it being Halloween? Well, as we have a skull hovering in a pit of doom and fire and brimstone, I would hazard a guess yes, it does have a Halloween theme to it. And what has uh, kids' reactions been to this? Do they think it's cool or do they think it's scary? It's a combination. Some kids are really scared by it, but uh, surprisingly there's a number of kids that uh, think it could be scarier. So it's, it's a lot of fun to uh, see everybody's reaction and uh, see where they think uh, it is on this on the scary scale. What have uh, you guys enjoyed about uh, the Sarasota Chalk Festival, Sean? Um, I've enjoyed the wonderful people, the great atmosphere, beautiful weather, and uh, you know the excitement that the whole festival has brought. Anthony, I have to second Sean's words. I mean, it's the people, the excitement, the art, seeing fellow street painters, old friends, and new ones alike. What can you guys tell me about how you uh, worked to, on this piece? I understand it was a, it's a group piece, so how do you kind of divvy up who does what? Well, we aim to, to people with their strengths and how we did things the best. We talked about everything, and uh, Sean and Mike worked on the, uh, on the walls with all the faces and the souls, and they had great ideas, and I thought, hey, go for it, and I spent a lot of time doing a great big skull. I think you guys probably work usually individually, so how has it been working on a group project for you, Sean? It's been it's been great. Um, at first, you know, you wonder how it's going to work together, working with uh, other artists with, you know, a little bit different styles. But I think the, uh, the group really uh, meshed really well. We uh, worked well together and uh, found a, uh, you know, our, each of our strengths and weaknesses to, to make sure that the piece was the best it could be, so. And did you guys have a, a third par person working on this? Uh, yes, we did. Um, we had artist Mike McCauley from Rhode Island. He was here for the first uh, few days of the piece, but he had to leave early. I wish we had been here, but we're glad we all worked together when we did. Well, the piece looks really cool. I see you guys have a little bit more uh, area to um, finish and fill in, but it looks like it'll be done in a few hours. So we look forward to seeing the finished piece, and uh, thanks for being at the Sarasota Talk Festival. Thank you very much. No problem. Nice to be here.